James, well, thanks so much for your time. Uh, well, how does it come out here uh, to FEW in uh, South Florida? Oh, it's great. I love South Florida. I love Florida in general, and FEW was a lot of fun. Defending the intergender title successfully, of course. So tell me about this intergender uh, title. How did you come up with the idea? How did it all come about? Well, when I left WWE, the last thing I did was wrestle Becky Lynch on television, and I fell short. And from that very moment, I was like, you know what? I'm going to create an intergender title, and I'm going to defeat women all over the world and get my retribution. Is that something that you probably came up with uh, in the locker room at WWE? How do you think that would have fit in, in the WWE locker room? Uh, with the intergender title? Uh -huh. I don't think they would do it with their television, per se. Maybe one day, you know, we're breaking boundaries with women's wrestling in general, and maybe one day we'll have intergender title on WWE television. You see a lot of intergender matches in, in, in indie wrestling. And, you, know, you remember the great China, Jeff Jarrett battles, those were entertaining. You know, what is it going to take to bring that into a WWE, into the, the, the big promotion? Well, I just did it. Back in November, Becky Lynch and I, first intergender match in a decade. And, um, you know, at WrestleMania, Triple H kind of stepped in there with Ronda Rousey, which really, Triple H should be the one that's the uh, scared gender in that situation. So it's coming back a little bit. The reason is you really started in WWE back in 2014. Uh, you were part of the Rosebuds, and then you you made your, yourself in there. Uh, into the, take me back to that time. Did you see yourself ever doing what you did in the WWE in 2014? Um, of course, it's hard to imagine that anybody would have thought everything that happened happened. Me beating AJ Styles three times, and going to WrestleMania, being a part of the world, all the cool stuff I did, I never imagined it would happen, no, honestly. And uh, working with AJ and Dean, how, how was that? Uh, working together in the match, putting everything we had together? Great chemistry, it was a great time. I think it was a rivalry and a feud and everything in between that nobody will ever forget. And you were trained originally by Axel Rotten, the late Axel Rotten. Tell me, uh, being trained by, by a legend of the ECW world, uh, type of his type of training. Uh, man, he's just very knowledgeable, very smart about the business. Uh, that's why he made a name for himself. And I always tell people that they're inspiring to be a wrestler. Find someone that traveled the world and get trained by them. So what's next with James Oswald? You've been traveling all over the country. Any chance we're going to see Green Greenback, maybe chance? What name? Nah, man. James Oswald. Where the money is. So we'll stick with that for now. Where can we see you next? But what are some of the, the goals for you in uh, 20, the rest of 2018? Well, hopefully you'll see me on uh, some television here soon. Can I in a secret? <laughs> Real soon. <laughs> this is The Roman Show.